What is up? I'm Wanted Turtle, and today we have a huge mail day video. I did a rough count. I think I have about 124 slabs to go over. Uh, most of them are CGC, and um, yeah, actually, we'll, we'll talk more as we go through because we do have a lot of cards to cover. And I picked these up maybe a few months ago. Uh, I'm not sure if I did a video, but um, I think it's definitely relevant. So two of the cards are obviously the Celebrations UPC metal cards. And um, so one of the things we're going to talk about a lot today is the CGC 9.5, how you can get them reholstered to say Gem Mint 10, as opposed to Gem Mint 9.5. And I think I picked these up for 300. And while I'm still very happy with the purchase, at the time, I wonder what the cost was for 9.5. And just so that I could get that Gem Mint uh, 10 for free. Uh, but one of the main themes of this video is going to be just picking up alt arts because they are just great and a majority of these are Japanese which was just at the lower price point at the time and majority of the cards were picked up especially if they're uh, like 9 um, or even 9.5 was like a hair over the cost of grading uh, so never was able to pull this card from Crown Zenith so I was happy to pick up a Japanese copy at pristine 10 and this is just one, I feel like it's nice to have some of the vintage stuff. I'm not sure if I have a graded version of this card. Uh, this is kind of like a, um, it was one of the corrected cards because it looks like Sabrina's kind of flipping you off. And we do have a few PSA slabs. I think this is it. So we only have six, but um, so Celebrations was a really good set. And I actually think that the kind of like more the international uh, version of like the 25 just pops a little bit better uh, but the Japanese is pretty expensive but they did print this in a bunch of languages so we picked off the the Thai language um, just covered it we got a couple of tens off the Charizard we got Venus so we do have the main three I would say this is kind of like one of my goals is to collect uh, these cards the big three base set starters in every language we got one more blastoise over here and it did we also did pick up a alt art psa 10 i mean nice little like shout out to um poke fan tai and i feel like he would appreciate this card but all right now we're going on to kind of like the bulk of stuff where it's just cards that i didn't have in my collection and um it's like all right well this is kind of a cool looking card and it, the cost is about the same as grading. Uh, this is probably not a good example. I don't even know what set this is from, but the Arcanine is pretty cool. Uh, but here we have, so like Lapras, really cool card. I don't remember which English set this is from, but I like the art. Uh, the grade's not very high. Might just want to have the art in my collection. I bet I picked this up for like 10 bucks. Expedition Charmander, uh, just a cool card to have. Expedition set. And I feel like what is perfect and I feel like I picked most of these up maybe a month before like the CGC announcement uh, where like you can get this reholster to grade 10. Um, you know, I think there were, I am very happy with all the alt arts that are 9.5. So, you know, there was, it wasn't like the top grade, but I'm fine with it if I can get it reholstered to 10. That was obviously just a nine, so that doesn't apply. But here we have one, the Husuian Arcanine. That one is actually English. And oh, we do have some Thai. So like the Thai stuff was a really nice price point uh, for the celebration stuff. But I feel like this is a good example. Uh, so I'm guessing compared to like the PSA 10 was significantly cheaper. Uh, but I can get this to say CGC 9.5 for the price of $5. All right, so we're gonna speed this up. Uh, so some very vintage stuff, 1996. At some point, you know, slowly pick at having all the base set. I don't really care what the grade is. And just some more Japanese alt arts. This one already is the pristine 10. So um, I feel like I do like the blue. So I imagine any pristine 10s. Actually, the pristine 10 label looks kind of cool. Um, but if there's a bunch of them, I kind of doubt I'll submit all of them to get reholstered. Uh, but I feel like this is one that, you know, I just really like this art. Uh, regardless if this is going to be an expensive card at any point, it's just a nice art and it's nice to have the Gem Mint 10 in the collection. Um, I mean, I, I think this was just a really cheap card and it's like, hey, that, the waifu effect comes into play. Cool. Uh, Blaine's Charles are a very nice pickup. I'm willing to bet that I haven't compared because there's so many cards in this video that, you know, a PSA equivalent would have been much more expensive than what I picked this up for. Um, 
Secret Rares, Pokemon Go, not a very desirable set, and it's only nine. So just very cheap pickups. This one I probably could have did without, but hey, it's shadowless. A very nice, another very nice alt art. I always feel like I think that like the art is like upside down or something. Um, but this one is unfortunately nine. So if there was like a 9.5 that I could have picked up for like a couple of dollars more, maybe that would have been worth it. And here we have the Lapras and one in the Gem Mint 10. This is also just a very unique art, so happy to add all these to the collection. And you know, I feel like we're going through an era, this alt art era, which they're all just really cool. And right now you can just get them for very cheap, just have the artwork in the collection. Maybe it's not your desired language, but you know that that's kind of like my motive here. And what I, every once in a while, I kind of just go on a spree uh, where I'll just type into eBay, CGC eBay, uh, auction, uh, ending soonest and when you can pick up all these cards for again the price of grading so if I did want to add these to the collection in the manual way, I think this is a good example of um, you know a good pickup for cheap and you can get this rehost for five bucks to say ten you know pick up the car which I'll, I mean I feel like this is a good example like this is probably not really worth anything but um, to take the time and effort to get them, get them added to your collection you know, I think this is just a, all these are nice pickups in that regard. Anything Shadowless I'm happy with, even if it's a six. Um, I don't have a good way of tracking CGC collection yet. I'm sure there's apps out there, but um, you know, to have a Shadowless set, I don't care what the grade is, will be a nice thing to add to, kind of like the portfolio of accomplishments. Um, EX era hit for 8.5 is fine. Oh, here's that Sabrina. <laughs> I guess I picked the two of them. And then we just got some more random supporters. Um, Hidden Fates, I think, was kind of like my... When I got back into collecting, the most fun I had opening any specific set. Uh, so that is one that I would target to have the entire set in PSA, in CGC, um, ideally Gem Mint. Alright, we're only like halfway through, I think. <laughs> All right, this is actually one that after I won, it's like, ooh, actually, I think I made a mistake. Um, I know I paid, I think it was like a little bit over 20, which for a card that I have, I opened a bunch of these, so definitely wasn't needed. Um, I don't, if I overpaid, it wasn't by much, but doesn't really fit any goal that I have. Uh, so that one, you know, but it's a Charizard, so can't go too wrong, but I think I didn't need to pick that one up. Here we just have more nice alt arts. This one is not an alt art, but I think, I think there's like five bucks or something. <laughs> I am a fan of Nessa, so happy to add more Nessas to the collection, even if they are not gem mint. Let's take this one out of the case, because this, this is, is a nice artwork. Didn't manage to pull this, um, but yeah, I think Crown Zenith is one of those sets that's just right for the picking to pick up, especially in CGC. Uh, I am a, I do lean towards PSA, but when it's like the price is right, we'll just pick them up. So versus trying to uh, open these up yourself. We got the Colores from V-Star. And another Shadowless, always happy to add some vintage stuff and a Wigglytuff first edition. All right, so now we're gonna jump to something a little bit different. So some seller was, I think it was, I'm not sure if it was a consignment or something, but selling, it's almost like these, uh, the Japanese, what are these called? The original seer Top Sun. And so this is green back, there is blue back, and these are numbered. Um, I one thing I don't know how to track properly is between all graded and raw. Um, all right, I just want to get all 150. I think 151. I'm guessing there's a mu uh, for all of them. Ideally, the same slab. And I don't know how far I am with PSA, but now we're significantly along the way for CGC. And I think. For every one of these auctions, I didn't win all of them because there were some that, you know, I just was looking to pick up cheap cards. I think I bought them all for like $20 and I ended up winning 42 of them. So the combined shipping was pretty good. And for a card that's, you know, so old and I picked up on like whatnot, a lot of these raw, but the idea of picking up, let's say even on whatnot, let's say I bought it for like five bucks, you know, for such an old card very happy with that and then to take the time and effort to submit them to cgc or whatever and then get them back you know i felt like this was just a nice shortcut to fill in so what 42 or let's just say 40 
um, you know, whatever percent of, was that like 30% or something of the, uh, you know, the whole set. And obviously none of these are like the heavy hitters, the one that will be expensive. Um, but yeah, I'm happy just to get whatever percent of the way there really quick. I think the part that I'm not sure when I'll do is just taking inventory of what I'm missing. Um, first, it's kind of like, all right, well, just get them all in some variety, whether it's raw or graded, and then getting a full set, kind of like with some continuity as far as the slab raw, etc. I'm definitely not going to worry about the grade, but anything, yeah, anything 9.5, I feel like that's just a very nice pickup. Um, will it ever go up? I don't know, but I feel like just. I feel like right now I'm trying to take things more from like a collector's perspective. Just because I feel like, I don't I don't really feel like buying things, uh, kind of like, um, we'll just call it like investing or whatever. I think now is a good time because I feel like there's just so many people in it that um, I don't, I'm less confident to stay ahead of the curve. And let's just finish some sets where that are not exactly you know there's not a lot of tension on right now and um yeah i feel like it can pay off later on if it doesn't no worries but i feel like this is what i did for psa you know um back in like 2018 when pwcc would just have these huge auctions on ebay and i would just it's like oh these were cool cards when i was a kid and now i can have it in psa 9 for like 30 bucks um and i feel like that worked out if this doesn't doesn't work out the same way, which probably will be the case. No worries, because I just want them to have them. All right, we only got a couple more stacks. Uh, just real quick, a thing in the background, the Dragon IV boxes. So shouts to Get Wrecked in the Discord server. He kind of let me know that these things were going for like 10 bucks, just the promo. And um, so I did have opened up a bunch, I think to get some Evolving Skies packs, and I still have some more and I cracked them open. And I sold like three copies in like less than 24 hours. Um, I think the box still sells for like 30. And I think at pre-order pricing, you know, that counts for maybe up to like 75% of the initial buy. And then you got the packs inside. All right, so here we have the Scarlet Violet promo. Uh, I do like this Japanese thing. I know like this is, uh, this is the equivalent of like what you would get from the PC ETB. Uh, and we do have a pristine 10, which is nice. And although, to be honest, I was perfectly happy with the 9.5 as well. And we got some more alt arts. Again, like the 9s was probably picked up for like between 15 and $20, which I'm still content with. But if I could have got the 9.5 for I don't know, five bucks more, I would have been more happy with that. Uh, it would be eventually, I'm sure, I'm not sure how close we are, but to pick up all the starters and this Charizard is one of the Zards that belongs in everyone's collection. Uh, even PSA 10, shockingly cheap. They made so many of these. It's just a nice art. Will it ever go up? Probably not, but I think it just belongs in everyone's collection. Ashes Pikachu, I think there's a bunch of different variants of this card. Um, not something really on my radar, but happy to add promos that I know I don't have graded to the collection. Southern Islands been something on my not immediate to-do list but would like to finish out in any language and here's that alt, that alt art again just beautiful card happy they got 9.5 and um yeah rainbow rainbow rare uh trainers they're so cheap because yeah rainbow rare is just not that good uh here we have so in english obviously this is a promo uh but it looks like this is an actual poll uh, so I actually think this is, could be one where like the Japanese card could fare better um, and will look nice to get bumped up to the CGC 10 label. And then a nice rainbow rare from Silver Tempest. And yeah, we just got some miscellaneous cards. You know, hey, you know, the card's cool. And for 15 bucks, I'll, I'll take it. I do like this one, this Bidoof or Barrel. Very cute. Ooh, all right, we still got more, more of these Thai. Um, 25th anniversary cards so i think there's japanese is really expensive right now Ooh, i do want to get all these dittos from the um delta species era but yeah so i know there's chinese and i think portuguese but it's hard there's not too many listings of them on ebay so kind of like with um 
the hidden base charts or charts, shiny charts are GX, where I have it in, I think, four languages. I would like to do the same thing with the 25th anniversary cards. And I do think, again, the international one, how they do like the 25 to 25th cent, uh, anniversary emblem is better in the other languages. All right, and then Hidden Fates again, my favorite sets probably, or at least the one that I spent the most time on the channel opening. And it was just, you know, no, less so because the cards have aged well, but more of just a, you know, from the experience with that set. Uh, card ass, I do have 151 in PSA, but I think this was just a nice pickup. Um, I will not be trying to complete this set in CGC. And I'm actually not sure too much, I don't know too much about these, but hey, there's like these cool Pokemon Leech gym badges, so picked up a few of these. And then we got one more, Moltres, this one is English. Um, again, it's a promo, so I would say this is not a very good candidate to send back to CGC to get it re-slabbed. And all right, I think that was all of them. So yeah, um, it can get a little crazy, but uh, if you just want to pick up some cheap cards and not necessarily from a perspective, all these cards are gonna go up in value, but obviously that could happen. Uh, just type into eBay, CGC, auction, uh, ending soonest. And I feel like there's just a lot of cheap pickups you can have just to add cards to the collection so that's what i did and that's what this video is all about um thanks for watching we do have some more videos to come we're about to do a psa submission so we'll go over that in the near future but that's going to do it for me today as always thanks for watching i'm Moana turtle i'll catch you all next time peace